Hi there, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with HP's new line of entry-level workstations specifically designed for architects, engineers, product designers, and creative professionals. HP gave us the lowdown last week on four new workstations, the Z2 Mini, the HP Z2 Small Form Factor, the HP Z2 Tower, and the HP Elite Desk 800 Workstation Edition. These are all entry-level fourth-generation workstations that offer plenty of power for professionals to get the job done. Let's take a look. All of the new platforms use the same case design as that found on the previous generation, Z2 G3, and the new line of HP Z Series Tower workstations. And what a beautiful family. They should definitely make more babies. HP also says these are the most secure and manageable workstations ever, with hardware-enforced security services and an HP First self-healing BIOS. HP Sure Start and HP Sure Run also helps you keep up and running even while malware is looking for a foothold on your system. And yes, these are enterprise systems designed for 24-7 operation, support GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD, and have independent software vendor certification, your basic workstation attributes. All of them also support a single processor suitable for both single and multi-threaded applications and optional Thunderbolt for fast data transfers. Let's start with the Z2 G4 Mini, which still has two versions, a mini entry-level platform and a performance version. We reviewed the Z2 G3 Mini a few months back, and you can see that here. The Z2 G4 looks very similar with corner cuts for airflow just like the G3 version. It supports 50% more processing power from CPUs with six cores instead of just four cores like on the G3. New Intel Xeon E2100 processors were just announced on the 12th of this month, and you guessed it, they are specifically designed for entry-level workstations. In a nutshell, they offer up to six cores, up to 4.7 gigahertz using Intel Turbo Boost, and UHD graphics supporting 4K media. They also support up to 30 PCIe lanes to connect additional hardware. Best of all, the price point for these CPUs is significantly less than the cost of those new Xeon scalable processors. Prices range from about $200 to $450 each. Of course, just like the G3 version, you have additional options like Core i7, i5, and i3 processors plus Pentium Gold. Memory is the same at 32 gigabytes using two SO DIMMs, but will run faster at up to 2666 megahertz. And there are also the same storage options of a single 2.5 inch internally mounted hard drive or SSD and a single HP Z Turbo Drive G2 PCIe NVMe SSD. The Mini Z2 Performance model supports a discrete graphics card from NVIDIA or AMD, including the Quadro P1000 and AMD Radeon Pro WX4150 with 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 dedicated memory. Many of the features supported on the system are only active with Windows 10 installed, including those GPUs. The entry model version uses the integrated Intel HD graphics. You can drive up to six displays using all ports and daisy chaining connections, but you'll probably also need to install the 230 watt PSU instead of going with the 135 watt PSU. Wi-Fi is integrated with the WLAN M.2 card. One of the really cool features of this system is the ability to mount the system anywhere using a standard VESA mount, visible when you remove the cute little feet on the base of the system. And by anywhere, I mean the underside of your desk, the wall, or even the backside of an HP monitor using a special mounting bracket and the VESA slots. You can even mount those Z2 Minis in a rack, and I have to say that does look pretty cool. Next in the lineup is the HP Z2 G4 Small Form Factor Workstation. The HP Z2 Mini is only about eight and a half inches square and two and one quarter inches thick. The HP Small Form Factor Workstation is only slightly larger at 13.5 by 15 inches and almost four inches in width, but it features twice the memory and storage, including an optional optical storage device. The Z2 Small Form Factor also supports the same processors as those on the Z2 Mini, so same, same but you do get access to twice as much memory with support for up to 64 gigabytes of DDR4 2400S DRAM modules in four slots. Integrated I.O. ports enable you to expand the functionality of the system without using your PCIe slots. Four integrated SATA ports support two internal drives, one 2.5 inch and one 3.5 inch drive, plus two external drives using the 2.5 inch smart drives. You can also install two M.2 PCIe SSDs in dedicated slots on the motherboard and still have four PCIe slots to support additional graphics, I.O., or peripherals. Graphics are handled by the integrated HD graphics, either the 630 or the P630. The P630 uses the discrete graphics cards like the NVIDIA Quadro P1000. You can also choose from a few AMD cards. There are also plenty of ports both front and back to support the number of external devices. The case itself also features some ledges to help lug it around the office. Ledges, not handles. The Z2 Tower G4 workstation is the largest Z2 G4 in the lineup. As with the others, this one also supports Intel's new workstation CPUs, I described above with up to six cores, the iCore processors, and again, that lone gold Pentium. This one also has the ledges front and back, supports the same operating systems plus GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD. So what's the difference? 
a larger case and more options for graphics cards, including those designed for 3D workflows. You also have 500 watts of power to work with, which means you may be able to install two GPUs depending on your needs. Looks like it will also support a maximum of two 3.5-inch drives plus two M.2 NVMe 2280 SSDs directly on the system board with an M.2 form factor WLAN card squeezed in between. There are also two 5.25-inch external drive bays at the top of the system that can most likely be converted to support two additional HDs. Although they didn't really say that anywhere in the specifications I have available, but you can definitely use them to install media card readers or an optical storage device. The last is the Elite Desk 800 Workstation Edition. I believe they call this the Workstation Edition because it's kind of a hybrid platform for users who have a crappy PC and maybe don't have the skills for a full-fledged workstation, but they are rapidly increasing their level of skill. I just made that up. This is the most affordable of the four systems. In fact, the most expensive of the bunch, but not by much, is the Z2 G4 Mini. This system is designed specifically for architecture, engineering, and construction industries, and for 2D and light 3D design. It's ISV certified for both AutoCAD and SOLIDWORKS, and it's also optimized out of the box for leading VR engines. Aesthetically, it is slightly different than the other three, but this particular model does not support the new Intel E2100 workstation processors. But you do get support for the others I mentioned, the iCore and that lone Pentium Gold processor. Where you could load a Linux operating system on the other Z2 G4 products, this one is all different versions of Windows 10 only. The supported GPUs are also not quite as powerful as those supported on the other platforms, but you can load the GeForce GTX 1080. Could be a nice workstation gaming platform. You can install a maximum of 64 gigabytes using four memory slots populated with 16 gigabyte DDR4 SDRAM modules operating at speeds of up to 2666 megahertz. Internal storage includes support for two 2.5 inch and two 3.5 inch SATA HDDs or SSDs. The system board also features a single slot for an M.2 2230 or 2280 form factor and another M.2 slot for support of a wireless local area network or WLAN. I included pricing when I talked about the various models, but here it is again if you missed it. These entry-level workstations are a great addition to HP's lineup and offer a more realistic set of features for most users. Not surprisingly, most applications don't require more than like 8 to 16 gigabytes max to perform their function. There are definite exceptions to this rule. However, for those who don't need the 3 terabytes of memory and 48 terabytes of storage offered by HP's and the world's most powerful workstation, the Z8 G4, then these fit in quite nicely. This was the Cliff Notes version on these models, but if you need more information, I did place a few links below, or you can post your question in the comments section below. More on these systems in the next few months. I'm Doug Stuman with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.